it was the scariest thing having them tell me that you're gonna have her. Being right on the borderline is 24 weeks is like the cutoff that for survival rates. I had sold, you know, everything I owned. I was selling things that I didn't own um, just to keep the addiction going. I was drinking heavily. I had alcohol issues and I actually told her, you know, I'm not willing to turn my life over to Christ because I don't want to give those things up. We were just, you know, kind of struggling to, to find ourselves. I wanted to more or less, you know, give up on my marriage. I just see my family in, in shambles. They were, it was a wreck. And, uh, you know, I think at that point, God really spoke to me and said that I needed to uh, see pastoral counseling. So it was just me and Bob's mom. And in passing, mentioned that she wanted to make these little pins that said, the truth will set you free. And um, that, that was what convicted me. Those words got in my head and I, I, couldn't, I couldn't shake them. The conviction was that I needed to confess to her that I was an addict. At that time when I went to the hospital, it was 24 weeks and five days. So she was 16 weeks from my due date. I think, I feel like everything just kind of happened. Um, her heart rate dropped um, and that's when everybody came rushing in. Um, as far as our household is concerned, I mean, I definitely wasn't being a good father and I wasn't being a good husband. I wasn't leading my family in the way that I should have been leading my family. I would say our life was horrible. I was almost like a single parent. My husband was either drinking or hungover. Um, so I felt alone a lot. My cousin called me and said something happened, you know, with my brother. He, he had this kind of spiritual experience. Some, something happened to him. She didn't even know how to describe it. And she said, I think this would be a really good time uh, for us to try and get him into a rehab. For the, for the longest time, I couldn't understand why, why it happened. And I, I questioned it a lot at first, like why, why is this happening to her? It's not fair. I had just received a, a Bible from his mom. And when we were going through this time, I opened up the Bible and I didn't even really know what I was doing, but I opened it and I read, do not worry about tomorrow for today has enough trouble on its own. That was it, that moment on. I didn't worry, and I just let him kind of figure himself out while I was just still patient and kind to him.